Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about Laravel Passport and how we can use it in our in our application. So I will not take too much time. I will explain it briefly. But the thing is, the previous video was a little bit like out of topic, uh, not out of topic. These are important things. But the thing is, like we might not use the developer here because we we are not developing our application like that. So basically, I will just quickly go through the the last video. If you want to use Laravel Passport, just install it with Composer. Then all you need to do is running this command to uh, generate all the migration file. Then run the migration. Then install it. It is going to install uh, your uh, Laravel Passport and it will generate the the key, the, uh, the, the access key or the access token key for you. That is how you use it. And later, if you are going to use that in your model, all you need to do is just write it as a trait in your uh, user model for example we write it here and then we uh, register the routes uh, that is all we need and then of course for the driver you set the api driver to passport that is all you need to do but for our application what we want we want is like people from postman they should not people by postman i mean anyone outside our application should not be able to access this information this information is only for those who are logging to our application and those who are logging if they go to the user they should be able to access them here but anyone who outside our application who are going to send any get request to our api they should not be able to see this information so there so here is how we are going to secure our application if you scroll down all the way down to the portion of you the documentation where they say uh, you can use it in your yeah consuming your api with javascript so if you are using it with your javascript all you need to do is in your web kernel just write this line of code you can read through the, all the documentation but you don't need to because i have already shown you how you use this one so all you need to do is just copy this one and there are some other things like just copy it just go open your kernel.php so i will come here HTTP we have the middleware uh, ah, it is outside middleware here is the kernel and inside the web here is the web uh, all you need to do is just paste it here that is all you need to do so uh, so far so if I save it this time I save just the kernel now let us go to the controller uh, in the API user controller here you know that uh, you can write what uh, we call the the middleware here uh, you can write a constructor function here and you can put that we are going to use the api uh, middleware here uh, if, if you use the, um, the api it is going to secure the application for you this is basically like the the one you have in your home controller.php here except for the fact that you instead of the uh, the auth instead of the auth, auth you just write the api so i will paste the code here this is what we want you have a constructor now any function you have here will not be accessible unless the people are authenticated so i will save it this time if i come to postman going to the postman if i send a request this time it should not let us access the information yeah it's still they give you the information it means there is something wrong so let's fix it so if i come to the kernel here you know we have api here it is fine like we have the api and the thing is if you are going to use api in your controller you do not write only api you say we are going to use auth authentication and we are going to use the middleware of api too so this is how it is going, going, going to work so if you save it you come your application if i refresh it in my application because i am logged i have access to all user information and if i go to the postman this time if we send any request to the same url no we do not have access to the information on that page and to prove it like if you log out from here you are log out now so if you go to the same url you say we are going to api user yeah it is going to send you to the login page so this is basically how we are going to use the 
uh, Laravel passport for uh, our application. This is very basic. In the last video, I know that was a little long. I just went through all of the necessary, like not necessary, the things that Laravel passport offer. But for us, all you need to do is adding one line of code in your application. Yeah, only this line. And then anywhere you need them to use, just use the auth API in your application. That is how you secure your application and anyone outside your application cannot have access to your uh, data unless you give them any token so this is how it is going to work so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching see you in the next video